I want to ask you a question about guns and get your response to some of the arguments that Republicans are making now about the push to ban semi-automatic weapons. One of the things they're saying is that uh, there are 25 million of these devices out there in circulation in the homes of millions of Americans, and therefore you can't ban them. What's the, what's the president's response to that? That's unacceptable. That's our, that's our response. It's unacceptable that Republicans are saying that there's nothing that we can do. Our schools, our churches, our places of worships have now become deadly places for many Americans who have lost their lives just this just this past year. So I asked Republicans, what are you going to say to the families in Nashville at this elementary school who lost their loved ones? Three kids, three, adult, three adults, three nine-year-olds. Is that what they're going to say to them, that there's nothing else that we can do? You're going to say that to the Uvalde families, the parents? There's nothing else that we can do. You're going to say that to the people in Buffalo, in that grocery store on a Saturday, doing what many Americans do on a Saturday across the country, that there's nothing that, we, that we're that we going to do. Republicans in Congress need to show some courage. And if they had courage, they would be introducing legislation on assault ban, uh, uh, on banning assault weapons today. That's what they would be doing today. And we know, and Steve and I know, because we've had this conversation back and forth about assault ban, uh, assault weapons ban, that has... When, when there was one, what is legislation that turned into law that the president uh, uh, led on 30 years ago, we know that it saved lives. We know that to be a fact. But yet they refuse, they refuse to move forward. And yet guns, as we know, is the leading cause that is killing our kids. And they refuse, they refuse to show some courage and do anything about it. And that's shameful.